In this video, we're briefly going to talk about the measures of variation. So measures of variation. The first measure of variation is the range. The range is just the maximum minus the minimum. By the way, by measure of variation, we literally mean just that, a measure of variation. So how much the data varies. So the bigger the measure, the bigger the number is, the more variation we have. For example, the bigger the range, the more variation we have in the numbers. The next measure of variation is called the variance. So the variance is a measure of variation and it tells you so it tells you how far the data is. So it tells you how far the data is from the mean on average. It's, it's a loose definition. So from the mean on average. So the bigger the variance, the farther away the numbers are from the mean. Okay, so if your mean is 10 and your variance is like a thousand, then they're pretty far, right? But if it's two, they're, they're pretty close to 10. The problem with the variance is that it is in squared units. So it is in squared units. So for example, if your data is in feet, um, your variance is in feet squared. So it's not very descriptive. Even worse, if your data is in dollars, or maybe just as worse, if your data is in dollars, your variance would be in dollars squared, which doesn't make any sense. So the variance is not very descriptive uh, because of that. So what we do is we get rid of the squared. So to get rid of something squared, what you do is you take the square root. So if you take the square root of the variance, so if, this is key, if you take the square root of the variance, you take the square root of the variance, you get something else. You get what's called the standard deviation. So you get the standard deviation standard deviation. So the standard deviation, so what is it? Well, the standard deviation is the same thing as the variance, except it's in the correct units, so it's better, right? So the standard deviation tells you how far your data is on average from the mean, loosely speaking, right? So if your mean is 10 and your standard deviation is 2, all the numbers are super close to 10. But if your mean is 10, and your standard deviation is 18, the numbers are all over the place, tons of variation. So the bigger the standard deviation, the more varied the data is. Um, the last one we're going to look at is called the coefficient of variation. Coefficient, coefficient of variation. And we're going to use software to compute all of these, so we're not going to use formulas at all. Uh, for any of these. This is just a quick video explaining what these things are since it's very easy to lose track or just not understand, right? Just memorize formulas or, or you know, use the software. So the coefficient of variation, um, this, this, expresses, this expresses the standard deviation, let's put SD, as a percentage of the mean. Okay, so um, it gives you a percentage, right? And typically what, it, what it's used for is comparing two data sets. Let's, let's actually do an example. Let's say you had um, two data sets. Say you had math grades, and then say you had, I don't know, English grades. Forgot the, forgot the H. And let's say you have a bunch of data and you compute the coefficient of variation, I'll call it CV, and you got 8% for the math grades. So that's the amount of variation you have in the math grades. Then you did the same thing for the English grades, but you got 15% for the English grades. So that's the amount of variation you have in the English grades. 
Well, 15% is bigger than 8%. So there's more variation in the English grades. So it's typically used uh, to compare um, distinct data sets. And again, we'll use software uh, in order to uh, compute all of these things. That's it.